Hi folks and welcome to this week's F3 guide at Sebring with the bumpiest corner in the world known as Sunset. It's not that bad in this car but just be careful because yeah still a bumpy circuit. The curves are huge around here so avoid them all like the plague. Anyway info tab for you. Track temp 100 Fahrenheit degrees will be above my head. Quite toasty might explain the lack of grip. Anyway uh, track usage 45% and you can see they're identical to setup. Uh, Sebring, sorry, which is what the Fix series will be following. The lap I'm actually going to show you is all the way down here. 23, uh, sorry, a 1... 123 a 153 192 so you can see i'm getting progressively quicker and my optimal was actually a 52 8 so i think in this it's just trying to string a good consistent lap together but yeah low 53s for me is where i'm sitting um yeah as i say be mindful of the curbs they are huge they bottom out of the car i will point them out as I go around but just be mindful of that but my head you should see a uh, screen of the iRacing ui these are pre-recorded so uh, how i get into these sessions is using that scheduler and uh, very useful and uh, not bad to be accurate to be brutally honest with you the other screen is my discord where the olap blap telemetry and replay file will all be in there just so you can see what the hell is going on with my car um Brake bias. I started off at 55%, which is the stock of the car, and then I reduced down to 54.45, I think it is, and that's where I was at for that. Uh, fuel for this lap was about, I think it was two gallons left in there, maybe two or three gallons in there. Normally what I do is start off with race fuel, might maybe have a crash or two, and then just keep driving until I get a decent lap. So it's not a qualifying lap, it is a genuine race lap, but I might be on lighter tires, uh, sorry, lighter fuel with worn out tires. Uh, otherwise, let's crack on. Right, and Sebring, one of my better tracks, let's say. I do enjoy it around here. Turn one is very fun in this thing. So just before the end of the barrier there for pit exit, you want a big lift. First few laps, you will need a slight break in there. Down to fifth gear. Get as close to that wall as you dare. If you clip it, it will be game over. But other than that, you can be full, near as damn it full throttle there, minus that big lift on entry. At the two cone, you want to start braking just before it, braking a nice straight line, easy lock in the front tires as you start rotating the car into the corner. Miss the curb, really unsettles it. Short shift into the third if you're going through there in second because it minimizes wheel spin. Again, miss the curb on the right. But at that curb on the right, you want to start braking just a little bit. Be very, very patient for here. Second gear and then third gear, or you can run it through in third. That's absolutely fine. Just be careful of wheel spin on exit. I was struggling with that, getting the power down. Down one of the best opportunities to overtake now coming out of there. If you do get a good run, by all opportunity have a good go into the hairpin make sure you get your braking right and should be golden three cone you are braking in a very heavy straight line you can use a little bit of the curb on the left hand side just to widen it i go down to first gear a few people do second whichever easier for you but obviously be careful of the wheel spin coming out of there again second is a little bit nicer but it might push with understeer on exit so see what happens and uh, see what works best for you another opportunity if you do get a good exit to have a nice little dive bomb into the second tires corner on this circuit it's another nice one again at the three board we are a uh, three cone sorry we are breaking again heavy straight line second gear get it nicely in again be easy on lock up and be careful of the wheel spin on exit very easy to slip you can see i've got a little bit of a counter steer there again i'm missing all the curbs notice how i'm not touching anything that's because they are huge and uh, yeah death to the f3 at the three board just after a three board what i keep on board three cone breaking a straight line again get the car in nice and early it's slightly dipped in here slightly cambered so you do get a bit of rotation but again watch the rear end i feel like you need to take a shot or anything when i say rear end one of the most fast sections now the uh, circuit two double left handers absolute flat don't worry about them but keep on the left hand side of the track two cone you're again braking very gradually down into fourth gear get the car nicely don't run over the other side of the curb because it's like literally a drop off so just be mindful of that at this one as well and the penultimate corner here you can go very wide without getting an off track so you really open up this corner to get a good good exit again don't fall into the inside of the curb and watch out for the uh, oversteer there as i correct again Good little straight now coming into sunset which is by far one of the fun corners on iRacing this is a very good slipstream opportunity and a good opportunity to have a good dive bomb into uh, sunset so at this point you want to start turning in don't think about braking just yet when we pass the wall and get to this point over here where the cones on the left that's where you want to brake gradually fourth gear and you want to bring it just at the bridge you want to try and get as close to the wall as you can should be full throttle by that point let the car drift out wide there's not a lot of runoff here it's grass and wall so if you do get it wrong it will be carnage so be mindful of that brilliant corner in f3 it's not too bumpy funnily enough but that is us done and dusted across the lap with a 153 192 really looking forward to this week to be honest i think this is going to be quite a nice combo who knows with the uh, spinning out because uh, you saw a lot of counter steering by myself on there so just be mindful of the rear end when you are going around here otherwise thank you very much for watching catch you on the next one